everyone, it's Angela with FoodStorageAndSurvival.com and today I'm going to show you how to make my new favorite fire starter. Uh, just for reference, this is my old favorite fire starter and they are the lint, dryer lint and a egg carton, the, the papery kind of egg carton with wax all over them and um, they're, they're fantastic because they burn for like 17 minutes but they're kind of bulky, they don't light up with a spark, you do have to have a flame to get them lit. Um, I, I still love these for starting a campfire, but they are kind of bulky to carry around. And so, today we're going to show you my new favorite fire starter, and this is what it looks like when it's done. They're skinny, lightweight, they still burn a good amount of time. These burn about 4 minutes, so it's not 17 minutes, but it's still a long time to get your fire going. You can light these with a spark uh, or with a match, either way and they are so fast and easy to make. There's no mess involved. That's the other thing with making those other fire starters with the, the egg cartons is that, boy, they are a messy project. And it's a project. It's, it takes time to set up and get all your stuff together and melt your wax and get it going. But today we're gonna make these just out of wax that you probably already have melted at your house because we're using our scented wax melter. This one's from Scentsy and today I'm burning vanilla bean buttercream but you could use any kind of random wax that you know the scented wax you can pick up at your grocery store or um, the big box stores like Walmart. All right to make these fire starters you need the candle warmer, the, the wax warmer, uh, you need some wax in it and you're also going to need the cotton squares cotton beauty square. I don't know. You can find them by the cotton balls in the beauty section, buy your makeup and stuff like that. All right, so this is how easy this is. You take, I use two of these per square that I put in here. If you put in more or you have a different brand of wax cube that you're using, you might need more. I'm, you know, that's totally just, just kind of go by feel. Now my wax is melted, it's been cooking in there, but it doesn't stink anymore, so we're going to just get rid of it. This also, as a benefit, cleans out your wax melter really quickly. Now this is a low temperature melt wax, so I can stick my fingers right in it. So I put the cotton pads in and just sop it up. Okay, it's warm, but it's not going to burn you. Alright, pull it out. And I pull those two apart and then just lay them someplace to cool off. And I, I usually just use a little plate or a glass tray or something. And then they cool off and they're ready to go. So you end up with a little extra wax on your fingers. But cleaned out your tray, made you a couple fire starters. They're great for camping, great for getting a fire going in your fireplace. Uh, we're going to take some of these out and show you how, how they light up and how they work in just a second here. Alright, we're going to burn some of these new fire starters, my new favorite fire starter, and I've got a couple of them. So this one we're going to just light with a, a flame, it's pretty simple, just get your flame, lighter or match, and then light a corner of it. And it will burn and burn and burn, and it burns about four minutes, like I said in the beginning. Really puts out a good flame. Uh, to light it with a striker, we're going to use this, it's called the Sparky Striker, and it's a one-handed striker, so there's not a piece of metal that you have to rub on the ferrocerium rod. It has it integrated in there, so you squeeze it and then push down on what you're going to try and catch on fire. In order to use these fire starters with a striker, you have to kind of fluff them up. And so you bend it a little bit so that you can loosen up that cotton. Just get those cotton fibers to where they'll catch the spark. Okay, you see how it kind of got lighter colored and it's fluffier? All right, that's where you want to light your spark at. All right, so let's just set that next to that. And. need something hard underneath it. All right, for this striker to work here. All right, and 
and that's burning. That took one strike and it's burning already. So there you go, my new favorite fire starters. They're lightweight, easy to put in your emergency kit, put in your fishing vest, keep in your fire starting supplies for your fireplace at your house, whatever you want to use them for. They put out really a good flame, burn about four minutes, and you probably already have the supplies to make them, especially if you have women in your house. So easy, easy, new favorite instant fire starter. Thanks for joining me. Again, this is Angela. You can catch more from me on my blog, foodstorageandsurvival.com.